I played the video that you saw for a reason. Uh, the Collegiate Design Series competitions had a beginning, and you saw that tonight. The beginnings were 1973, 74, 75, and uh, Michigan Tech had the honor, and Keweenaw Research Center, Center had the honor of hosting that. And uh, there was a person in the room that made it happen. And if you don't know who that person is, uh, he's sitting among you tonight. Um, I'd like to, uh, to uh, honor him. We've had several retirement parties and he keeps coming back. <laughs> so uh, let us do it yet again. Uh, my good friend Bill Shapton, thank you for uh, starting this uh, competition. Say just a few words. None of you remember, except in your ancient history books, back in the uh, 70s, engineering got extremely analytical. We had very analytical faculty, many of whom had never actually built anything. And we're very unaware of how long it can take between the time you decide to put the engine in front <laughs> or to drive the front wheels, how long it took between then and when you actually got something that would go around the corner and turn the front wheels. It was that period between when you thought you had it and didn't. And we came up with these student design competitions. Students do like to compete. And it, if, if you don't have it ready to run, as some of us have discovered this very week, on the day that the competition runs, well, you know, you pay a big penalty. There's meeting a deadline, which will do the rest of our lives. So SAE reluctantly agreed to then host student competitions. At first they, were, uh, they weren't sure it was their problem to straighten things out in the academic area and to, to get some hands-on things back into university programs where they had dropped all of their lab courses and closed the machine shops. Uh, <clears throat> and they weren't sure that they wanted the liability for students driving formula cars night on campus drives. But the uh, Keweenaw Research Center agreed to host them for the first three years and demonstrated that it could be done with professional judges. And, uh, so we really owe a lot to, to Michigan Tech. Well, I, and I wasn't here then, I was at Cincinnati. A lot to Keweenaw Research Center for helping establish a professional uh, climate that SAE came and visited and decided, yeah, we do want to be a part of this. This year, over 6,000 College students will take part in North America in SAE student design competitions. And we've been arguing at our table about how many mechanical engineering graduates in North America there are, but that is a sizable number of them between the formula car, the Baja car, and the snowmobile. So it, it has had an influence on mechanical engineering and now electrical and a variety of other disciplines education in this country. And now, there are formula events in, all over the world. We've had them hosted at Ferrari at their proving grounds. They've been hosted in Brazil. There's always one in the Pacific Rim now. So it's, uh, it's become quite an event, and it started at KRC. Thank you. Just so you know, that was it was probably 30 years since Bill saw that video. He didn't know I was going to do that tonight. Not accustomed to public speaking as he is, he was able to say something, so thanks, Bill.